he served as the chief of staff to President Muhammadu Buhari from August 2015 until his death in April 2020, when he lost his life to the raging coronavirus pandemic. He was also the highest public office holder in Nigeria to succumb to COVID-19. Hello guys, and welcome to another exciting installment of our Top 10 Celebrity Facts series, brought to you by Sidemex Entertainment. Today we'll be talking about the late Malam Abad Kiari, President Buhari's former chief of staff who lost his life due to complications from COVID-19, the disease caused by the novel coronavirus known formally as SARS-CoV-2. Before his death, Malam Abakiari served in various capacities in both private and public sectors and was regarded as the most powerful cabinet member of Buhari's administration. But before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as we drop another exciting video. Now, let's dive in. Number 10. Late Malam Abakiari was born on the 23rd of September 1952 to a family from Borno State that had Kanuri roots. Not much is known publicly about his parents, but they seem to have been well connected. For his secondary education, the late Malam attended St. Paul's College in Wusasa Zaria, now Kaduna State. Number 9. Abakiari considered joining the Nigerian army after he completed his secondary school education. He was mentored by Maman Dora and late Dr. Ibrahim Tahir. Maman Dora is an uncle to President Buhari and is also a prominent member of the influential Kaduna Mafia. Tahir was a sociologist, writer and politician who was also a member of the Kaduna Mafia. He died in 2009. Number 8. The late Chief of Staff studied sociology at the University of Warwick and graduated in 1980. Thereafter, Abba Kiari returned to the University of Cambridge and bagged a master's degree in law in 1984. Later, he took part in Harvard Business School's program for leadership development in 1992 and 1994. Number 7. Abba Kiari worked for late activist Fanny Kayode, who, who co-founded the Fanny Kayode and Sowa Mimo law firm in 1970. This was revealed in a tribute paid by former aviation minister Femi Fanny Kayode following the death of the chief of staff. Femi Fanny Kayode says, I lost a friend of 40 years. We were at Cambridge together. We worked in my father's law firm together. We remained close throughout right up until the end, even though we disagreed politically. Abba was a good man, a man of honor and a loyal friend. May his soul rest in peace. Number 6. Malam Abakiari met President Muhammadu Buhari when the latter was a military governor of Borno State in 1976. It is not known publicly how they met, although Buhari's uncle, Mamam Dura, may have introduced them. This was before Abba Kiari traveled abroad for his university education and was considering a career in the military. Upon Kiari's death, President Buhari described him as my loyal friend and compatriot for the last 42 years and latterly my chief of staff who never wavered in his commitment to the betterment of every one of us. Number 5. Abba Kiari worked as a journalist. Between 1988 and 1990, he was the editor of the New Africa Holdings Limited, Kaduna, a company that published Democrat newspapers. Later in the early 1990s, he was appointed a commissioner for forestry and animal resources in Borno State. Number four. In his later career, late Malam Abakiari served in senior executive roles across different industries. Between 1990 to 1995, he was a secretary to the Board of African International Bank Limited. In 1997, he was appointed the Executive Director of the Management Services at United Bank for Africa UBA. Later, he was promoted to the role of Managing Director and Chief Executive of the bank. He left UBA in 2001 amidst concerns he lacked core banking management records. On leaving the bank sector, the late Malam joined the board of Unilever Nigeria PLC in 2002. The appointment marked a career shift to the consumer goods sector for Abba Kiari, who had by then worked as a lawyer, a journalist, a stint as a state political office holder and a banker. But that was not the end of career changes for Malam Kiari. Between 2000 and 2005, he served as an honorary member of the Presidential Advisory Council on Investment in Nigeria under President Olashegun Obasanjo's administration. He also joined the board of ExxonMobil in 2016 as a non-executive director while serving as the chief of staff to the president. Which brings us to fact number three. 
Abba Kiari was the chief of staff to President Muhammadu Buhari from August 2015 until his death in April 2020. The late Malam was regarded as one of Buhari's most trusted lieutenants. According to Reuters, he was regarded as a gatekeeper to the president. Those who wished to deal with Buhari had to go through Kiari, including Nigerians' top politicians and business owners. The Punch newspaper described him as the most powerful chief of staff in Nigeria's history. His tenure was also punctuated by some controversy. In 2017, an argument between him and Winifred Oyoita, the former head of the Federal Civil Service, resulted in Oyoita losing her job. He was reported in February 2020 to be in a cold war with the National Security Advisor, NSA, Major General Babagana Monguno. After his death, the Yoruba World Congress accused him of hijacking the government as de facto president when he was alive. Number two, in his private life, Malam Abba Kiari was married to Hajia Hoa Kulu Kiari. According to Kiari, he said he was happily married to Kulu, my adorable wife. She's Dr. Tahi's sister-in-law. I met her in his house. It was through him and because of him I got married. In a tribute following Tari's death, the couple had four children together. They lived a relatively quiet life despite his high-profile job. Naturally, Haji Akuli was a supporter of Buhari and actively participated in his re-election campaign. She was also on Aisha Buhari's campaign train that visited the palace of the Al Haji Haruna Tanko, the Gomo of Kuje in Abuja. Number one, late Malam Abakiari died on April 17th, 2020, from COVID-19 complications. News broke on the 25th of March that he had contracted the deadly coronavirus after his result came out positive on the 24th of March. He likely contracted the virus in Germany, where he had been on official assignment before returning to Nigeria on the 14th of March. Following his positive diagnosis, Abba Kiari went into self-isolation at his home. On the 28th of March, the late chief of staff released a statement that he had moved from isolation in Abuja to Lagos for preventive treatment. The statement reads in part, I have made my own care arrangements to avoid further burdening the public health system, which faces so many pressures. I have not experienced high fever or other symptoms associated with this new virus and have been working from home. I hope to be back at my desk very soon. Sadly, late Malam Abakiari would never see his desk again. He died on the 17th of April at First Cardiology Consultants, Lagos State. Reuters also reported that he had a history of medical complications, including diabetes. His body was flown to Abuja and was buried at Gudu Cemetery on Saturday, April 18th. Tributes flowed in from the president to ordinary Nigerians who recounted positive encounters they had with him. The United Nations General Assembly also sent a letter of condolence to the presidency. Without a doubt, Abba Kiari was an important figure in the Buhari administration. While the tail end of his career mostly defined him, his was a life that was filled with many personal and career honors. Tributes paid to him after his death served as a testimony to his life's achievements, friendships, and compassion. And with that, we've come to the end of this edition of the Top 10 Celebrity Fact Series. Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cydermex Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.